Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Kodak Black situation, honey. So if you're currently on Twitter, you can see that Kodak Black and Lil Wayne are currently trending, okay? So what's going down is that our favorite rapper from Florida, huh? Kodak Black is back on social media showing out, okay? So now, if you guys don't know, Kodak Black was locked up for a while. I did the video about when he went to jail. Then he recently got released. Then he decided to get onto Instagram Live and take a shower in front of all his damn followers. So while he was taking a shower, he accidentally dropped his, I hope it was an S7 because that's the only phone I know that's waterproof right now. But anyhow, he dropped his phone and the whole world got a chance to see his nuts and berries, honey. Yes, I was looking. Whatever. So anyways, after Twitter roasted him and drug him up and down social media, basically taking a shower and exposing himself on Instagram Live, we hadn't heard too much from the young Florida rapper. The other, the other day, back on January 8th, he decided to start promoting his album. He was saying that God is good in 2017. This is the year of the GOAT, the GOAT, build the GOAT. You can see the GOAT embolism in his new album cover, okay? So I guess him having an album called The Year of the Goat has gassed his ass up because now he's been taking to social media to say that he's the best rapper alive. And for whatever reason, honey, he is calling out Lil Wayne. He is beefing with Lil Wayne. He took to Instagram yesterday to say that Lil Wayne can eat his ass. Yes, his ass. I had to clutch my invisible damn pearls. I was like, what you mean he can eat your ass? What the hell was you in there doing when you was in that damn jail all summer? Who the hell tells another grown man he could eat his ass? Uh. Anyways, go on ahead and check out this video footage of Kodak Black, honey. Check this out. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey man, I might chill, man. I'm not saying. Brr. Luan can eat my ass. Luan can eat my ass. Luan can eat my ass. Don't lie, man. I told that nigga, hurry up and throw some motherfucking ketchup on my hot dog, nigga. Yo, yo, why you tell niggas eat your ass, Kodak? <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all just seen that video of Kodak Black saying that Lil Wayne can eat his ass. First of all, what grown man asks is another grown man to eat his ass? You know, that's not a diss to me. That makes me feel like, well, damn, what the hell happened to you, bruh, while you was locked up all summer? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would that be the first thing that comes to your head? You know, the whole situation is a hot damn mess. So if that's not crazy enough, Kodak Black decided to jump on Instagram this morning, honey. So yes, the Draco effect is in full effect. And I guess it must have tapped Kodak Black on the shoulder, honey, because he was feeling himself this morning. He took to Instagram and he basically called out Lil Wayne and said that he was a better rapper than him and said that he wants to fight Lil Wayne. When I tell you social media went crazy and right now they are currently trending on Twitter. Go ahead and check out Kodak Black's video of him threatening Lil Wayne and wanting to fight him and go ahead and check out what everybody had to say on social media and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey listen here man tell Lil Wayne fight me you know what I'm saying I'm finna get in the brain we finna fight, me and Lil Wayne. I'm finna knock that stupid ass nigga out. And, and if you whoop me, he the best the best rapper alive. You heard? I got my jewelry on it. He got his jewelry on it. I got my whole money, my jewelry, my highs, everything on it. Tell Lil Wayne, fight me in the rain. And I'm gonna beat his stupid ass. And I bet everything on it. Since Soulja Boy and Chris Brown doing it, I don't even need no trainer. I don't need Floyd Mayweather, Adrian Brown. Now one of these niggas out on it. I'm finna beat Lil Wayne's stupid ass. Watch. And whoever wins, they the best right by the eye. You heard? Uh -huh. I got eight book in the studio right now. I'm fading. A thousand. One K. Tell Lil Wayne on, if he ain't scared of me, he gonna fight me. <laughs> Piss stupid ass nigga out. And, and if you whoop me, he the best the best rapper alive. You heard? One of these niggas out on it. I'm gonna beat Lil Wayne's stupid ass. Kodak with the shit. Hey, Boogie said he gonna put his diamonds up. Hey, give me a little Tucci on the phone. Yeah, I'll go at this clown, this nigga Kodak Black. Tell him, shut the fuck down. Get out Tucci dick, yeah, man. Get out Wayne dick. That's a fucking god, nigga. You can't compare. How would you try to compare to a nigga who, you know, gave you your motherfucking life, you hear me? But, you know, tell this bitch ass nigga. Don't a bitch, I'll beat him up, you hear me? I'll whoop the fuck out, Kodak, you hear me? Yo, I'm standing here waiting to run into that nigga Lil Wayne, man. I'm telling that nigga he eat my ass. I'm from Papano. Fuck that nigga Lil Wayne. Tucci!
nigga, who the fuck are you? I don't even know who the fuck you are, nigga. Look, nigga, look, man, you ain't the best rapper alive. I am, nigga, Kodak Black. I'm the weather, man. Bitch, I'm a motherfucking Martian. Fuck you. Let's do it in the rain, then, nigga. You know, talk, don't talk that shit right now, nigga. Let's do it in the rain and get it on, nigga. Like I said, nigga, I don't know you, blood. Go on somewhere and keep my name out your mouth. I'm too cheap. Funny ass nigga gonna try to get outrageous when he walk away. Kodak Black, what's up, man? I was getting me a bottle of effing vodka, nigga, and heard you was gonna fight Lil Wayne, nigga. Do I need to call Floyd? <laughs> Look, man, Lil Wayne ain't even confirmed. He just walked away, but that nigga won't catch my face, won't box. I'm with it, nigga. I right, keep me posted. Yo, bro, what's up with the rap game right now? Why does everybody want to fight? You got Soldier Boy wanting to fight Chris Brown to see who's a real fruit. Which I thought if they're going to fight over something like this, a more entertaining fight would be Ellen DeGeneres versus Bruce Jenner. Then you got Riff Raff wanting to fight 50 Cent, which is like Kimbo Slice versus Kid Rock. 22 Savage wanting to fight 21 Savage over the name 21 Savage came up with. And now this. Tell the Wayne, fight me in the rain, and I'm going to beat his stupid ass. And I bet everything on it. Yo, my nigga, you literally have shit sprouting from your head. You look like Cynthia from the Rugrats. What the fuck make you think Lil Wayne gonna fight you? Have y'all niggas forgotten how to sell records or something? Or are y'all just that bored? The thing is, I don't even know if niggas realize how dumb this shit is making them look. Every one of them is saying that they don't do the internet talking. On the internet! Then they keep talking about hoods and street niggas. Y'all are industry niggas! Goddamn! Real street niggas wanna get the fuck out the streets. Why are y'all so pressed to get in them? Y'all niggas rich as hell. How the fuck you gang bang? Don't even know how. Got a sneak of soldier boy trying to do a blood call, walking around the, the magical town of Fruitville reciting a fucking homosexual mating call. All right, so you guys just saw that video. You guys just saw the comments and what people had to say. You know, this new generation of mumble rappers are just a trip. You know, there was a point in time when we were growing up in hip hop and, you know, listening to hip hop music. There was a point in time where when the young cats were coming out, you had to pay homage. You know what I'm saying? Like when Lil Wayne was coming out, he had to pay homage to the folks who put in work before him, like the Jay Z's and the Biggie's and stuff like that. But now a lot of these younger rappers, these so called mumble rappers, they feel like they are the shit. They, you know, like they did this themselves and they don't want to give props. I remember this summer when Lil Yachty came out and granted he's young, he's only 19. He basically said that he don't really listen to Biggie and Tupac and that he doesn't know five songs that Biggie nor Tupac ever put out. And then him and his squad had the audacity, honey, to take the social media and basically say that Drake was better than Biggie and Tupac. So a lot of folks were really offended by that. A lot of folks were like, you know what? These young cats are just real, real disrespectful. So the whole situation is crazy. It's going to be really interesting to see if Lil Wayne responds. If I was Lil Wayne, I wouldn't pay his ass dust, honey. So you know damn well Lil Wayne is not going to respond. But with that being said, I don't feel bad for Lil Wayne either. I feel no type of way about Kodak Black calling him out and wanting to beat his ass. Because as we all know, Lil Wayne spent the last few months of 2016 damn cooning, okay? As much as I hate to use that word, I don't know what else to call it. And even T.I. had to call him out. Now you know it's bad when your own homeboy, who's cool with your family, who's now soon to be ex-wife, is best friends with your ex-wife. You know it was real when T.I. had to call out Little Wayne for all that damn cooning he was doing this summer. So, you know, I don't feel bad for Little Wayne at all, but I'm gonna keep it 100. I already know Little Wayne is not gonna pay Kodak Black any type of mind because why Little Wayne is busy getting money. Now that damn Nicki Minaj is single and she don't left Meek, honey, he's trying to bring Nicki Minaj and Drake back together. They're in the studio, they're gonna be dropping some new music. I really highly doubt that Little Wayne would take time out his busy schedule to address anything with Kodak Black. You know, even if Little Wayne was to like challenge him, it wouldn't even be a challenge because Kodak Kodak Black, to me personally, cannot rap. You know what I'm saying? This is not like when 50 Cent called out Jay-Z and Jay-Z responded talking about, I'm about a dollar, what the fuck is 50 Cent? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Jay-Z and 50 Cent could actually rap, so that was interesting. I'm not interested in this battle whatsoever. You know, I'm not really sure what's wrong with this generation of mumble rappers. I don't know if it's because they're too busy putting damn lean on their damn waffles. Yeah, you know what we're doing, dog. Pouring red on that waffles, man. You know how we rock? 
But it's just like they don't know if they're coming or going. Even the dude that was in the video, um, King, the guy from New Orleans who was confronting Kodak and going off, it's like he just looked really confused and disheveled, you know. So the whole situation is a hot mess, honey, but I'm here for it, bitch. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Are you team Lil Wayne? Are you team Kodak Black? Do you think that Lil Wayne will eventually respond back to Kodak Black? Or do you think Lil Wayne would just uh, pay his ass no attention and keep it damn moving? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces